Right, I have here the uh, all the options for the My Focus Pro 2M. Uh, let's start here. This is uh, RS232 extension cable. Comes in two different lengths, half a meter approx and one meter lengths approx. Um, this allows you to be able to put the uh, focuser uh, controller box uh, uh, off, the, off the actual telescope itself if you so desire. We've got uh, two different temperature probe lengths. We've got a one meter length or a two meter length, uh, same price. We've got uh, two different size, uh, two different types or designs of brackets. One with slots this way, and the other one, this this one, uh, with slots the other way. So uh, this, in in both of them, you can adjust the height of the stepper motor up and down so that it connects properly with the focus of shaft. Uh, we also have the actual controller box itself. Uh, this is a uh, OLED version for a DR, uh, sorry for a ULN2003 on off LED, uh, sorry uh, in out LEDs. We have uh, 12 volt power uh, on off. We've got a program re reset prevention switch. We've got a 12 volt LED with 12 volt inputs, USB socket connection. Um, temperature probe, stepper, stepper motor connection. So that's the actual controller box itself. You can see that it's actually quite small um, and quite lightweight, about 300 odd grams or thereabouts. We have a uh, 12 volt uh, power cable. Um, Jack fits in. Uh, this is uh, approximately um, one meter plus length. Uh, we've got a, a 1.5 meter high quality shielded USB cable uh, which comes with the controller and we've got a CD-ROM in the package which contains all the software and manuals and other bits and pieces. Okay, so let's uh, connect up the controller with everything. We have a keyed um, temperature probe. So let's connect that up. We've got the uh, stepper motor itself. Let's just ensure that those are finger tight. Don't want to over tighten them. It's got a EMI suppressor device. Uh, this prevents any sig signals which are um, going to the controller interfering with all your camera optics and stuff like that. We've got a uh, uh, 28 BYJ48 stepper motor. There is a jumper on the ULN, ULN board to power either 8 volts or 12 volts to the board and to, to the stepper so that you can use either a 5 volt stepper or a 12 volt stepper. I've got a 5 volt stepper here but it runs quite happily off um, 8 volts. Uh, 12 volts power in of course. Um, and we're going to require a uh, USB cable. Right, so USB cable. <coughs> um, let, let's uh, turn the device up, uh, the 12 volt power on here. So we've got power to the stepper. Uh, this is appearing on my computer is um, Com three. So if I connect to it with my focus of pro, you just heard the power on reset uh, happen, and I'm connected on that. Uh, let's change. I'll just change the position to zero. And if I tell it to go two thousand and thirty-six steps. Um, it's currently set to full step mode. We tell it to go 2036 steps. Uh, we should see the motor rotate uh, one complete revolution. So this is it here. It's slowly going around because I've got the speed set to slow.
Yeah, you're not going to get high speeds out of a um, 28BYJ stepper motor uh, because of the gear reduction. Right, so let's set the motor speed to fast and tell it to go back to zero. It's going back the other way. Right, so if I set it to half step mode and I again tell it to go 2036 steps, we would expect it to go half a revolution. So uh, let's do that. So this is fast speed, half stepping, and you notice it only goes uh, half, half a revolution because it's now 4072 steps uh, per revolution. So that's the, D, uh, the, sorry, this is the ULN 2003 controller, uh, finished, ready. This is the temperature probe, obviously, and if I hold it, we uh, expect the temperature to rise, and um, I'm not sure whether you're going to be able to see, see this, I'll, I'll try. Um, I don't think I can get it much closer. Um, but it is saying at the moment that the temperature is is something like um, twenty-four point two five degrees. So it is in fact working. So that's it, all finished, ready to go.